Good evening, I'm Taylor Toshev. Here's what you could see tonight on the Evening Report. Conestoga Valley School District is taking action after students were involved in a hazing incident. Eating one of these can cause serious health risks, so why are teenagers ingesting them for internet things? I'll give you the full story. A fire broke out at this effort of home yesterday, and it started with the car. Now there's minimal damages to the front of the car, but if you take a look inside, that's where the fire erupted, breaking everything in its path before it spread quickly up the side of the house. 25 year old Aaron Woolman of Denver was found shot and killed Monday night in York County. Today at a press conference, officials credited the immediate response between York and Lancaster County for finding the person responsible. Tap the buff was resentenced to 28 years to life over the murder of Lori show back in 1991. Earlier this morning, this Christopher Columbus statue was covered with a black ski mask. Now this comes after previous attempts to remove the statue from Lancaster County and with today being Columbus Day, it definitely made a statement. Texting six digits could potentially save a life and I'll tell you how. A turtle almost tripled the size of this one crossed the road just a few days ago and animal expert Jesse Rothacker was able to get him to safety. Tonight, I'll join the Field of Screams team and show you how they go from this to this. <laughs> but first, I had to be transformed from a news reporter to a dead nurse. This process can be one of the most crucial parts to ensure fear and can take anywhere from 30 minutes to multiple hours. Despite the freezing cold temperatures, the storm that hit the East Coast brought along snow and high winds, but that wasn't enough to keep skiers and snowboarders off of the slopes. February is Heart Health Month, but finding heart healthy foods that are right for you isn't always simple, which is why Giants in-store nutritionist is making grocery shopping simple and educational. Meteorology students at Millersville University are learning outside of the classroom and inside an aircraft today. I'll tell you what they plan on finding. Irish dance is a long standing tradition and this local Irish dance school is tapping into their Ireland roots in preparation for St. Patrick's Day. Bear Creek says they expect even more people to come out to the slopes next week when it gets a little warmer and temperatures reach into the mid 30s. If you think that's warm, reporting in McCungie, Taylor Toshev, News 11. Not only is it a good idea to make sure your car is ready for winter, but that you are too, which is why it's a good idea to pack a winter safety kit full of blankets, non perishable food, water, and hand warmers. Students and faculty here at Mannheim Central Middle School have been planning for their mini thon for months, and now we are just one hour away until students take to the gym floor from now until 10 p.m. tonight. Volunteers and a local police department are wrapping up presents for kids in need this holiday season. I'll bring you more on this heartwarming story. Making sure your tree is properly secured is not the only thing you need to worry about. Fires caused by trees can result in complete devastation. And if you do come down with the flu, doctors may recommend medications like Tamiflu to lessen the severity. Started by Project Lifesaver and with the help of police stations across Lancaster County, this small device could save your life. Now, once the plate reaches negative 17 degrees and the cream is poured, it's all about the roll. But we begin tonight with a large drug bust in East Cocalco. Good evening, I'm Taylor Tasha. $50,000, that's how much heroin investigators say they found in a car traveling back to Lancaster County from New Jersey. News 11's Brendan Leslie has the full story. The nationwide Me Too movement has sparked the Church Too movement. Victims telling their stories after they were sexually abused by a church member while they were a child. Stevens man is facing several drug charges after an incident at Reamstown Park. Authorities say back on March 24th, East Cocalco police found 31-year-old Charles Reedy of Stevens arguing with a female in a car. 14-year-old male was taken into custody on May 2nd after allegedly pushing his mother out of a two-story window at their Denver borough home on Evergreen Street. <laughs> That'll do it for us. I'm Taylor Tasha. <laughs> Have a great night. Taylor Tasha followed this story and now joins us live in the control center with more. Taylor. Brendan, 48 year old James Simmons sparked suspicious controversy throughout his neighborhood when neighbors started noticing cars coming in and out at all hours of the day, prompting an investigation with the Lancaster County Drug Task Force and an arrest at his home. 48 year old James Simmons of Denver was arrested after neighbors raised concerns about an increase of suspicious activity at all hours of the day. Usually teenagers coming through 
and within many minutes they're back out again. And normally they use the same car for a while, then they get other cars. Simmons home on 15 Quarry Road is part of a remote neighborhood with only a few houses nearby, making the flow of traffic coming in and out very noticeable. They trash, you know, they don't care how much they trash a neighbor's property. It, there it's all for themselves. Which prompted neighbors of a once quiet neighborhood to contact police, which led to an extensive investigation with the Lancaster County Drug Task Force. We did get some information just from that area that this may be a location we want to check out. We did that. Um, we, we, we looked at what he was doing, looked at folks coming and going from that area. It seemed to corroborate drug dealing. Authorities say surveillance showed Simmons was dealing drugs in the Ephrata and Denver areas, which neighbors said had been going on for years. He admitted to um, selling in the Ephrata and Denver areas for some time, so um, we consider him a legit drug dealer. On January 5th, Simmons' house was searched, uncovering methamphetamine, heroin, and an illegal sawed-off shotgun. We have a lot of smaller level dealers around Lancaster County, unfortunately, and we would like to you know, bring them out into the light. We need the, the public's information for that to happen. And thanks to the eyes and ears of the neighborhood, the drug dealing was put to a stop. And while the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office says although it was not the biggest drug bust the county has ever seen, it's a step in the right direction. Anytime you have an armed drug dealer out of the community, it's huge, especially for you know our smaller communities like Denver, a community we feel is a, a bit safer today than it was a week ago when we did the search. His preliminary hearing was scheduled for today, but has now been rescheduled to January 24th. Reporting live in the Control Center, Taylor Toshef, Brendan, back to you. Patrick's Day is just hours away. See how this local Irish dance school is keeping with tradition. In preparation for St. Patrick's Day, the Holy School of Irish Dance will be touring the county, performing an Irish tradition for those celebrating the holiday. News 11's Taylor Toshef went to the dance studio to learn more about the art of Irish dance. Irish dance is a long-standing tradition, and this local Irish dance school is tapping into their Ireland roots in preparation for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is definitely my favorite weekend of the entire year. March 17th marks St. Patrick's Day, a day filled with traditions and Irish heritage like the art of Irish dance. Irish dancing has a really special history because we have some of those exact same dance moves that have been done for hundreds of years. And so like keeping the dancers with those traditional technique really just connects us back to Ireland. Dancers at the Holy School of Irish Dance in Leola start as young as three years old and work their way up like dancers Olivia and Bella who dedicate days in the studio to compete at Worlds. I'm here at the studio three to four days a week and then I practice at home an hour, an hour and a half uh, every day I don't dance. It takes more than the luck of the Irish to be this skilled in Irish dance. It takes years of practice and as you can see, it doesn't come easy right away. I really like how athletic it is and it's like you have to put so much work into it to accomplish your goals and you can set so many goals. And while the dancers spend most of the year performing in competition, tomorrow they'll show off their skills to those celebrating the holiday. We have about um, 20 shows booked, so I'm doing pub runs. A lot of our dancers are competitive, which means they do spend a lot of their time doing more strict um, practicing, so this is kind of a fun time for them to get out and just show everyone all the hard work that they put in. Now don't worry, I won't be performing, but if you want to check out Real Irish Dancers, head to their Facebook page at Holy Irish School of Dance to get a list of where they'll be touring tomorrow. Reporting in Leola, Taylor Tasha, 11.